An internet harassment case out of St. Charles County has been in the news lately. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Reed. And I'm Lauren Whitney in for Angie. Thirteen-year-old Megan Meyer killed herself last year after receiving online harassment by someone she thought was a teenage boy. That boy turned out to be a mother of one of the girl's friends. Today, Megan Meyer's mother was in mid-Missouri to talk about online harassment. It's a new crime that lawmakers and law enforcement are scrambling to keep up with, and KOMU's Ashton Goodell shows us how Tina Meyer is battling cyber bullies. Tina Meyer says she has a mission to educate people about the dangers of cyberspace. An adult is not, you know, should not be allowed or able to hide behind a computer. Um, and harass a child. Meyer says her daughter's web page on MySpace.com allowed cyber bullies to take advantage of Megan. She says online bullies are just as real and just as dangerous as school bullies. They bullied about weight, bullied about, you know, just everything in general. I mean, everybody's been bullied, but Megan was certainly bullied about weight. She met with Governor Blunt's Internet Harassment Task Force today to encourage them to reconsider current stalking and soliciting statutes to protect children from online harassment. If it should happen again, be able to have laws in place that will keep families from having to go through what we went through. The best way to avoid harassment or unwanted solicitation is by one, monitoring your children's website and online chats, two, use website filters, and three, talk to your children about internet safety. Ashton Goodell, KOMU News, Jefferson City. The task force reviewed current statutes and compared internet laws from neighboring states. For more internet safety tips, you can go to our website at komu.com.